up everyone today we're in the country of Curaçao which is a new country for us in the southern Caribbean region it's just above Venezuela and on either side you have Aruba and Bonaire and all three islands are a part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands so this area is known as the Dutch Caribbean and right now we're in the capital of Curaçao which is called Willemstad and the place we're staying is called Scuba Lodge so this place has hotel rooms and apartments ranging from anywhere between 150 to 350 dollars we're staying in this really nice room right now so this is a renovated dutch colonial building and scuba lodge all the buildings are renovated colonial buildings so this room also comes with this little kitchen here we have an electric stove and then got a little mini fridge down here i like how it is with the trash look it pops out <laughs> never seen that before and then through here we have a really modern bathroom got a huge sink as you can see and yet big shower area and the room is also quite spacious huge bedroom it is a AC room as well also has a fan and then there's just a little desk area and TV but the best part is probably out here where Carol's relaxing enjoying the view yeah, the Curaçao Blue View. <laughs> yeah, the Curaçao Blue View. So we got this awesome balcony view here of the ocean. You can see got an uh, infinity pool there. I think we'll go for a dip later on. And these are all part of Scuba Lodge. So these are the other colonial style buildings. I think the green buildings are apartments and yeah, these other ones are like hotel rooms. Also got these orange ones as well. Yeah, it just looks really nice with all the tropical plants in the garden. This will give you a better idea of how the, the buildings look from the outside. Some amazing colors. So we're staying in this pink one here. And look at this yellow one, look at the balcony. It's like full of designs. Get a better shot from back here. That is a cool set of buildings right there. So the neighborhood that we're in is a very popular one called Pita Mai. And a lot of the buildings that you see in here date from the 1700s to the 1800s. And in the past, this was where the wealthy people lived and the working class. But sometime in the 1900s, it became abandoned and not many people really lived here. So since the 2000s, they've been working on like restoring the buildings. So a lot of the buildings here are now hotels like where we're staying, restaurants, shops, lots of different things. So this is a great example here. You have the restored one right here and then this one is in complete ruins. So probably a lot of them were left in this state after this place was abandoned. Got some pretty cool artwork here though. So even on the other side, you have another restored one here and then this one here that looks abandoned also. Nobody living there. So it's like a mixture of abandoned and restored so yeah i think it's pretty cool how you see a bit of both This restored one is a pub, Bluebird Castro pub. It's a nice pub. And I think over here is a jewelry store. Another thing about the Dutch arch architecture, they have these beautiful like bright orange triangular tiled roofs. So all the buildings are like that, I think. Wow, look at this one as well. I think I'm gonna be filming a lot of buildings today. <laughs> yeah, because most of them are so pretty. I like them. It's like it's not it's not like we're in the Caribbean, it's like a different place. 
but we are in the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah, it has like the bright colors of the Caribbean, but yeah, we've never really seen Dutch architecture, I don't think, right? No, not that I remember. All the Caribbean places that we've been before were colonized by the Spanish, so it was always the Spanish architecture. So me and Carol weren't aware, but there's actually uh, a beach here, right next to Pita Mai. That looks pretty nice as well. Really white sand. We didn't know there was a beach right here, no, right? No, no, it seems to be man-made, but it still is a beach and it's beautiful with the Curaçao blue water. Yeah, so here in Willemstad, the majority of the beaches in this area are man-made, so I'm pretty sure this is a man-made one. It still looks awesome though. And then a lot of like the hotels and beach clubs, they have man-made ones. So yeah, down the coast there, you'll see a few man-made ones. I think the natural ones are more up north, which we plan on checking out too. <laughs> part we come to is called the water fort arches it's got these beautiful arches going all the way down it's pretty much all restaurant area now you can walk through and yeah have a meal right on the ocean front and the food around here in the tourist area is pretty expensive so yeah you can see like fish dishes for over $30 per person a lot of the dishes around over $20 I think we're going to try and find a local spot today which is supposed to have cheaper food and it'll be a local food as well. And we're looking for a spot called Fort Amsterdam. I think this is actually part of the old fort walls, this um, yeah, water fort arches. And Fort Amsterdam was built around the 1600s to protect the area from enemies and pirates. This is the centre of Fort Amsterdam. That building there says Anno 1769. So. I guess that's when it's built. Everything is yellow here, all the buildings. So it turns out that the fort is closed today. It should be open, but the lady that would be in the, the shop where you pay the entrance fee had something to do, so yeah, it's not open today. I thought I'd show you this which is pretty interesting so here you can see that there's Dutch here it has like van Dutch um, and then below is papiamento their local language so that says gabinete de gobernador which is almost identical to Portuguese yeah it's very similar but we read that the local language papiamento is a, like a big mix of other languages like Spanish Portuguese uh, Dutch of course and also Creole so that's why we have some similar words and like like the the way they say good morning is bon dia and good afternoon is bon tarde. Yeah, almost is, Portuguese. Yeah, very similar to Portuguese. Yes, yeah, so I think the one that's most uh, similar though is actually Portuguese, and they think it was because here was uh, one of the main points of the slave trade uh, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And yeah, a lot of the Africans that were brought here were from the Portuguese colonized places on the west coast like Angola and uh, Cabo Verde. So that's probably why they have a very similar language. Right outside the fort we have what is one of the main attractions here which is this huge floating bridge I don't think we've ever been on a floating bridge like this before and it's called the Queen Emma Bridge originally constructed in 1888 but yeah it's been renovated quite a few times 
over the years and it's pretty interesting how it opens yeah yesterday when we were here to to eat we, we saw the the bridge opening and it was like going to the side yeah it swings open sideways yeah sideways. it's just something very different and when it opens there's a free little ferry that will take you across so you don't have to pay anything i think it opens for quite a while so yeah you can just get a little boat over so before we cross that bridge just look at these buildings here these are definitely some of the most beautiful buildings that I've ever seen, especially this yellow one, Fenya. Also dated 1708. I love the roof though, it's light curved. Really never seen architecture like this. They're kind of thin, the buildings, some of them, right? Yeah, and very, like, they have a roof very. Yeah, like very pointed. pointed yeah. So if you search Willemstad, you always get photos of these buildings right here on the waterfront and then beside you have loads of cafes and restaurants down here probably more expensive ones but yeah it'd be a beautiful place to have a drink or get a bite to eat and they also have these old cannons so this is an original one from the 16th century 24 pounder cast iron recovered in 1995 in curacao just to give you an idea of how similar to Portuguese their language is, me and Carol can probably read this. So it seems to be some sort of like cell phone, probably like SIM card company. So that's simply more an experience, a digital experience. What, what would cool mean? With like All right, with more data, especially for Curaçao. It's cool, I guess we can read Papiamento. <laughs> Yeah, th these guys here have the right idea. Too hot, right guys? Too hot. Tough to be a dog. <laughs> Ruining their sleep. Yeah, so all, all the way down the waterfront, all the buildings are like this. All different colors, different patterns, even different designs. The rooftops are all kind of different. It's like some fairy tale town or something. Yeah. But yeah, it just feels like we're in Europe or something. <laughs> yeah, especially this part, it just seems super European. Definitely doesn't feel like the Caribbean, besides the colors. Gonna dive in, cool down. Yeah, I guess I could because the water looks clean. Yeah, it does look clean here. Not oily. All right, time to cross the bridge. <laughs> it's bouncing, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this bridge isn't still at all. <laughs> like sways from side to side with the waves. So from here you get an even better view of all the, the buildings all together. Yeah, that is one cool mixture of buildings right there. Haven't quite seen anything like that before. And it looks like even the other side is the same. So yeah, we'll check that part out, that neighborhood. So the neighborhood on this side is called Otro Banda and from what I read it's more of a residential area on this side of the river and the one we came from is more commercial. Even on the front here we have the colorful Dutch style buildings. They kind of look like a bit newer than the other side but yeah very similar. And we just went to try and get a SIM card for Carol for two weeks but they said for six gigabytes for two weeks it would be $50. 
So yeah, we found that really expensive. My American plan is only $70 and that's an international plan. So we didn't even bother getting it. We don't really want to pay $50. As I mentioned before, things are very expensive here compared to other Caribbean islands so far. Easily the most expensive one for yeah, pretty much everything. So it turns out that there's another fort. This one actually looks like a proper fort. So this one is called Rift Fort and it's a mall. So yeah, they've made it modern inside. And it says here that it was established in 1828. So probably a lot newer than the fort on the other side over there. Wow, already looks really nice on the inside. Restaurants. Yeah, I think it's just a bunch of restaurants everywhere. How can you go up the wall, Carol? Enjoy the view. I will do. Ah, so even on that side you can see it's like a fort wall on the outside. It's pretty cool what they've done, it's like old meets new, so you have this more uh, modern buildings here, the same kind of colours as the town, and then you have the fort walls. Yeah, different. Man, I need to get in that ocean though soon. So hot. And I think above here is all like restaurants and bars, so yeah, you get an awesome view over here. We just left the fort on a different entrance there and it does look really fancy here, check this out, you got like a fountain here and this is like the mall part so yeah loads of stores, international stores. Pretty big mall isn't it? Yeah, yeah I think the, these buildings here are modern but they built in the same style of the, the old part of the town. Yeah they look pretty new to me. So this is going to be as far as we walk here, back there is the cruise ship terminal. And there is a cruise ship there right now, but it's probably just stuck there. I don't think there's any cruise ships operating. This place would be way busier, I think, if there was actually cruise ships running. So, yeah, I guess it's just parked up there. You think we should go and get a bite to eat now? Yeah, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, I'm starving as well. On our way to the market, we're gonna pass back through the neighborhood here of Bunda, and this is popular for shopping. So to us, this part here really does seem like Europe even more, all like the little alleyways. this out for a beautiful little square so we've got some nice artwork on the buildings and then just these nice little cafes here some music going on Caribbean music. is it Caribbean yeah. it sounds like the music in Dominican Republic well, but it's Caribbean. oh yeah true yeah everything real real pretty around here Ah, check it out, Frida, Frida Kahlo.
art everywhere. Yeah. What a colorful city. So the place we've come is a famous old market called Plaza Bill. So you have all different kind of local food here. And we came to one called Sucrio, which is a mixture of, what is it? From Suriname and food from here. Yeah, Suriname and Curaçao. Suriname is also like Dutch as well, but in South America. And yeah, look at all this food. It looks absolutely amazing. So this is 18 in their local uh, currency, Florin, Netherlands Florin, I think you call it. And I got plantains, vegetables. I got arroz moro, which is exactly the same as in um, Spanish. That is a Spanish name. And I got a full fish. And yours was 15, right? A little bit cheaper. Yeah, and I also have fish. I have mashed potatoes with uh, spinach and plantain as well, which is something that I love. Carol's struggling to finish. It's <laughs> a lot of food. Yeah, it's loads of food. I destroyed mine. Check that out. <laughs> Super delicious though. Yeah, the, the sauce, the red sauce, I don't know what it is, but it's very tasty. I think we'll be eating here again. Mm -hmm. So we're back at Scuba Lodge now. Gonna finally cool down in the swimming pool. So there's actually this other part here, a little sandy part. Looks like, oh you got some stairs. I guess there's times when it's not rough. Yeah, no, I don't think we can go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can go. Try it again? Yeah, definitely not now. This is crazy. <laughs> And I think there's like a Mexican restaurant over here. Even this property as well that looks nice. It's almost a beach. Yeah. Yeah, I guess if the ocean was not so rough, we would be able to go in, but no, not, not today. Yeah, not today. Still a pretty cool spot to hang out though. Maybe we'll eat here one day, since we're here for four days. That was a nice way to end the day, cooling off in the pool. And we're just chilling on the balcony now. It's really nice temperature now that the sun's gone down. It was way too hot today to be walking around, so I think all the next few days is always gonna be beach days, which is one of the main reasons that people come to this island. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. And that's what we'll be doing in the next video. And I'll link down the details for Scuba Lodge in the description if you're looking for an upscale place to stay. And I think we're actually going to be switching rooms in a few days, so yeah, in the next video I'll be able to show you a different room to this one, see how that is. So stay tuned if you want to see more videos here from Curaçao. Subscribe to us on YouTube if you haven't already. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.